Welcome back. So glad that you joined me today. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself what it means to be made new or even what it means to have things that are, that are new? Now, in our society, we see everywhere and even within television, social media, anything and everywhere about having something that's new. But in our times, does new actually mean that it's going to be consistent? Does new mean that it's going to last for years upon years and upon years? Many of us remember the times and places when the whole concept of having something new meant that it would last for decades and possibly centuries. Now things are made to break, to fall apart, and even not to last at all. And as we look at life, as we look at marriage, as we look at anything that's connected to this journey, it seems that that's the idea that we've taken as well. That, well, you know, it didn't work, so we'll just leave it upon the wayside. God continues to call us back to remember why he had us do things, why he still has us do things, and to keep faithful in what he's asked us to do. He reminds us that it's never going to be easy but that he is going to be with us continually and is going to see us through no matter what is going on and no matter what the cost. Great reminder for us today, isn't it? Today's verse comes to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, and it says this, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Right there, I want us to see this. Paul specifically puts in there a therefore. As many of my professors over the years would have said, what is that therefore? Therefore, Paul is pointing to what happened before. I encourage you, go back, read through chapter 5 and the context to understand. But Paul is telling the church of Corinth that because of what Jesus promised, he will make you new and will change what has been to what should be and what will be eternally. As we continue on this journey, let's remember that God does not leave us where we are. He takes us, he recreates us, and even more, he puts in with us a heart like Jesus so that as we learn of him, we will become more and more like him in character. Thank you again for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's Word together. God bless.